drop space is a, a superficial region in the left lower part of the thorax which contains the fundus of the stomach it is more of uh, historical and um, it has questionable relevance in current clinical practice but despite this fact it is often questioned by some examiners in the exam so i'd like to clarify few anatomical um, concepts about this drops area now to identify the drop space first you need to draw the two lines the first will be the mid clavicular line you can see the line which is marked by the blue arrow which is the mid clavicular line then you need to draw the mid axillary line the line which is indicated by the arrow green is the mid axillary line so once you draw the mid clavicular line and the mid axillary line next you need to identify two points on each line so first let's identify the sixth rib in the uh, mid clavicular line and then you identify the ninth rib in the mid axillary line so when you join the, uh, the these two points that is the sixth uh, a rib in the mid clavicular line and the ninth rib in the mid axillary line you can see that black color line which is seen above and marked by the red arrow which forms the upper margin of the drop space the lower margin of the drop space is formed by the left subcostal margin so you get a sort of a semi lunar uh, shaped uh, space which is bound on the right side by the mid clavicular line left side by the mid axillary line above by the line joining the sixth rib and the ninth rib in the two two respective lines and below by the line joining the medial and the lateral part of the costal margin so and this contains the the fundus of the stomach and uh, when this particular site is percussed with the patient in ideally semi recumbent position this space is supposed to be resonant the internal boundaries will be the uh, left lobe on the right side the spleen on the left side the inferior margin of the lung above and the subcostal margin below uh, the commonest reason being the full stomach where it is actually obliterated clinically used in left sided pleural effusion can also be obliterated when the left lobe of the liver is enlarged and there is splenomegaly to the extent when it is touching the the particular region where the stomach fundus is present so usually in moderate to massive splenomegaly and also in carcinoma of the uh, stomach you can see more clinical videos in this channel